Hey guys, Tonic here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a very fast and very efficient way to farm a lot of lead in Fallout 76. Let's check it out. The first place that you're going to want to hit up is the Charleston Fire Department. And once you're here, just run inside, go through this door, and take a right through this wall and you will find a weight room. Now in this weight room you're going to have all these giant weights here and just go ahead and pick all of them up. And it is kind of heavy, so if you have any scrap kits, they would come in handy, or else you just have to go find a bench to try and scrap it all and make it lighter. But just by picking all of that up, we have 69 lead right in the first location. And the next place you guys are going to go is the Green County Lodge, which is going to be right here in your map, just next to Flatwoods. And once you're here, you're going to spawn in this parking lot, run to this little hallway here, and then take a left and you will find another little weight room with a decent amount of weights. And this one will generate 39 lead for you. So the next location is going to be any of the nuke silos. So if you go inside of the nuke silos, head down the elevator, there will actually be a weight room inside of each and every one. And most of these nuke silos are pretty much the same. They are going to be filled with robots and turrets, so do make sure to clear them out because it can get pretty wild. And going into here, you actually won't be able to pick all of these up, which is kind of weird. They're just kind of for decoration, but if you go along the floor, you'll be able to find a few, and even over here on this table and underneath it. And then over back here on this shelf, there's a few. And after we're all done at Site Bravo, just from doing that, we got 78 lead. And lastly, on the weight part of the run, you're gonna head over to Eastern Regional Penitentiary, which is gonna be just south of Grafton. And once you are here, you'll spawn in along this road, run down the left side of the prison, and then you'll find a pretty big hole in the wall. Now, once you get here, you will see these tin cans, and do take them because they can generate a good amount of lead and steel as well. And kind of be careful because there are a ton of super mutants in here. And once you clear out the entire place, right behind you in the middle of the courtyard is going to be a ton of weights on the ground. Go ahead and pick them up. And all these weights combined with all the tin cans that we picked up in the beginning will generate nearly... So 69 lead and then 36 steel, which is great for making ammunition. So now that we've already collected a few hundred lead, that should be enough to get you through a lot of ammunition. However, if you still do want some more, I can give you a few little extra spots to check for some lead. Going into White Springs here, which is very common for a lot of people to do the XP farming routes, grab these tin cans right here, and these ones as well. And just by picking those ones up right there, we get another 36 lead and 72 steel. And another great spot to find a lot of tin cans is Camden Park. So if you run into Camden Park, straight ahead here you will see a few right through this little pathway. And then there is going to be some more up here. And the last few tin cans here are going to be right in the back of the roller coaster at this entranceway. And so all the tin cans at Camden Park will generate 54 lead as well as 108 steel. That is a pretty solid amount of ammunition you can craft with that. Now in the time that I've been running this route, I've kind of stopped buying ammunition from vendors just because I can go out there and take about 5-10 to 10 minutes a day and craft a few thousand rounds of ammunition. And now doing this for about 3 days, I was able to get 937 and it should have been higher, it was actually up in the thousands, but I did craft some ammunition for this video so I could go out there and kill the enemies. But if you do do this, you're able to generate a ton and if it is gone, just server hop because someone else may have gotten it before you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really do appreciate it and I hope that it helps you guys out because I was always looking for a good way to farm some lead, and once I started doing this route, I, like I said before, I really have not had to buy ammunition from vendors. So it's super helpful, and as always, a huge thank you to all the channel members, Chris Decker, Yozavated, Alienethi, Theodore, Captain Awesome, Digital Aardvark, Lone Samurai, OG, KN, DFN Gaming, Christy Mel, and Schwitz. You guys are amazing, I love you all, and have a good one.